YouTube. This is Jeff with Jeff's Toy Reviews, and today I'm reviewing Zeta Toys ZA05 Armageddon Racket, or not Masterpiece, or basically Zeta Toys Masterpiece version of Swindle from the Combaticons. And I'm going to tell you right now, this figure is pretty cool. I'm really happy with this guy. A lot happier than um, the other ones, and I liked the other ones just fine, but this one, for some reason, I like a lot more. So first looking at the packaging, we see here a nice uh, robot uh, picture of him in his robot mode. I do like the artwork. Um, have a nice hear him in his vehicle mode. And on the back, we got the foot. Oh my God. So we're only wait we're waiting for Onslaught now. So really exciting. And on the bottom, it just, you know, warnings and stuff, small parts. Top says Zeta Toys, and that's it for the packaging. Um, he does come with instructions that are actually really easy to follow. Not bad at all. He does come with the, of course, the collector's card that has all of his tech specs. Um, and so she's very smart, but slow and kind of weak. But he's smart. So there you go. So there is that. And here he is. I'll bring the camera down a little bit. Here he is looking all swindle-like and everything. Very cool. Um, of the figures that have come out in this line already, we've seen that they've been kind of blocky and bulky. And I don't mind that at all. I actually kind of like it because it makes them look really, really crazy. Oh, I can't believe I didn't turn that around. But I'll go back into that in a minute. I'm sure you just saw it. But there, that's that's how he's supposed to be. And for the toy, anyway. And here is a nice close-up of his face. A lot of nice detail. Uh, and he's not overly done. Like, it's very simple detailing, which is really nice. Like, it's, it's really cool. I mean, he reminds me of Swindle. And um, very nice looking. He does come with his pistol that is just all molded plastic. There's no coloring or anything on it. Very cool. And he does come with um, his shoulder cannon that has a couple of missiles. These missiles do, they just port on there. You know, I got these pegs going to these ports and both come off. So and they stick on there really well. And he, this does extend and this does have a hinge because it can fold up, but it also, um, for in Jeep mode and everything else, you know, you can put that in there. I'm gonna put this on him, put this turret in a couple different places. You know, you can put the turret, um, he's got a couple ports back here. And it's a little difficult because these ports are really tight, which is nice. Okay, so I'm having difficulty on this one. Hold on. Off the screen we go. And it keeps folding up on me. <laughs> okay, maybe it did. I can't get it in there for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, you can take it and you can put it into these ports on his arms. And they are very tight ports, which is kind of nice because it really, they st it stays in there if you can get it in there. Um, so, you know, you can have his, have it on his arm there and, <clears throat> you know, he, d just like all the other Zeta toy fingers, uh, or hands, you see that nice little cup there. Um, so it's the groove that the gun just goes into sits in really nice. You don't even have to close the fingers if you don't want, and it's staying in there, uh, you close the fingers. And there he is all armored up. Now, cool little feature that they did for him that I really liked. And it's funny because I, um, the instructions don't show it. Um, but, you know, if you play with him long enough and during transformation, you're going to take this panel down. And you're like, oh, but that's on a swivel hinge. This comes out, goes around, and then comes back in. And then that'll... Turn there, and then you can take this piece here, the crotch, do the same thing, and bam. So, there you go. 
So, you know, you have that G1 cartoon look or you can go with the G1 toy look. And I really like both looks. I think they look great. So, you know, you can throw the Decepticon logo on there or however you want to do it. It looks really cool. Now, compared to the other characters, I don't think he's as bulky, but he really is. He's just, um, they did something special with him, I think. They took their time, maybe. Maybe that's what I'm feeling with this figure. Um, because, you know, he's right out of the box. He comes, like, in robot mode. And that's one of the reasons um, I went ahead and did this review like this, starting with the robot mode instead of instead of the um, vehicle mode is there's a few people that have asked before for me to go to try to you know if I could transform it from robot to to car and and back again so um, in this case if you do want to see that I can do that but I am going to primarily just go from here to car and then the next time we'll see old racket here we're going to get him into his limb mode and ready to get attached to Onslaught. That's going to be a whole separate review because I'm going to do all the limb modes together and then put um, uh, Bruticus, their version of Armageddon or not Bruticus or whatever you want to call them together. And then, you know, there we go. So leaving all his weaponry and stuff off, I'm going to take this back out because I think I do like displaying it when he's in his robot mode like this just because I can put in a nice big Decepticon logo right there. So that'd be kind of cool. Get him standing straight up. And ba-boom, ba-boom. Okay. Yeah, he has a little, he has to have a little bit of an A stance, right? Okay. And he's not top heavy at all. It's just I I'm have him posed not completely flat and that's my fault. So, so we got that. So for comparison, we're going to go ahead and bring in, um, bring him back a little bit. Actually, let's go ahead. I'm going to bring the camera back just as, like so. And we're going to bring him in with Make Toys Downbeat or their version of Jazz. See how they look together. We're going to go ahead, get him off to the side. We're going to bring in Masterpiece Sunstreaker and see how they look together and I mean he towers over this guy so um, you can tell these, these guys are big and I really like that so and their creator and founder Starscream you know and uh, as you can tell Racket is I think he's they're just the same size I did not bring Megatron out I will bring Megatron out when I do the um, the entire Armageddon review um, I kind of have him in a really cool pose, and I want to keep him that way for a while. So, that's just me. Um, and let's go ahead and get this guy with his brothers in arms, as it were. <clears throat> Here he is with his leg mate, uh, Zeta Toys Brawl. I'm actually push him, push these guys just back a little bit more. So we can hopefully fit them all in. Here he is with um, the one of their other mates. This will be Vortex. And Blast Off. And I think this set as beefy as they are and for what a lot of people have said about them i really like how this set has come out has turned out i cannot wait to get their version of onslaught and get these guys together because by the sheer size of these guys bruticus is going to be huge and he's going to be cool because these guys are sturdy and they have to be sturdy for what they're creating so that's why they're blocky. That's why they're beefy. And a lot of people don't like the look and everything. But when they're in their vehicle modes and when they're in their limb modes, they look fantastic. And that's going to be what really helps with the Bruticus figure because he is going to be just tight, great articulation, posable, and massive. And I can just see it. So I'm really excited about that. So let's go ahead and get these guys off the table. And then I am going to get this guy transformed for you. And I do have to say one thing about this guy's transformation. His transformation 
is I think the best transformation that Zeta Toys has done with these figures. His transformation is fun. It's easy, it's intuitive. I actually did most of the transformation without the instructions. I just wanted to make sure on something when I checked the instructions and it was really cool. So for that being, that being said, it's like, wow, that's awesome. So let's go ahead and get this over here. We're gonna raise this up a little bit so I can have some room for what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the, oh, actually we're gonna bring this, just, just bring the arms up for now. So they're kind of out of the way. We'll start with the legs and we're gonna come down here and then this panel comes up and this is gonna come down like so you're going to bring this and it's going to accordion down like so. I'm just going to put that there for now. I'm going to come back here on the back. And actually, I could have done all this without it, but I'll just leave it like that. So we'll just start over here. Just flip this piece out. And then you're just going to bring the foot out of the way. Bring the arm, bring the leg out. And then you're just going to collapse it down. Take this around. And then bring this back down. And then this piece, bring up. And then you're gonna come down. And this is gonna, see it's gonna accordion in there. It's like a little double hinge in there. But before you do that, you gotta take this piece here. Ooh. Get that out of the way. Bring the antenna out. And then bring all this. Down. And you can see where it just lines up right here. And it's go like so. And boom. Nice and easy. This is going to come around here. Um, actually, I'm going to leave that there. Excuse me. We're going to come back here. Bring this back open. Get that out of the way. This is going to come here and then around like so. And then you're going to bring this back down. It's going to line up just like that, bring it around. That's going to tab into place just like so. So now you're going to come over here, same thing, bring the antenna out of the way, and then we're going to come turn around, turn back over, bring this out, just bring the whole leg in, and for clearance, just bring the leg out to a 90 degrees and then back down, and then you can bring this piece up and out of the way, finish bringing it down. Now come back under here I'm gonna take this bring it here this fills in the back of the truck and that all lines up right there you're gonna come here tab that all in and then you can just bring the legs and their pegs here ports here and here and you're just gonna bring those together like so like I said very intuitive very easy now if you want um, you can fold that down or if you want a brown undercarriage, you just turn this down and Do that now me because these are supposed to be the headlights He's not gonna have headlights under his car. So I just I mean under the truck So I'm just I just do that. I leave it like that personally. I actually like that look more Now you got both of these pieces down yep. These tab in together too. I forgot I mean they make it very sturdy very nice it's nicely done and then that all just brings in together tabs in and there you have the back end of the humvee done and i know it's supposed to be a jeep i guess in the cartoon he was a jeep but i like the fact that they they modernized it and made him a humvee so now you're going to take these pieces and you're going to bring the arms you're going to bring them all the way down see there they got this nice big um this big piece here this lever here and it has all the you know everything you're going to need for transformation and and what you're going to do so you're going to come down like so just make an l shape out of it you're going to do the same thing over here like so now you can take this piece and bring swindle's head in because you're going to bring as you bring this part up and around the head those ports on the bottom are going to do into these ports here. This is where I was trying to plug in the cannon. I was able to get it in there once before, but it's really, really tight. And I guess maybe it doesn't go in there. So 
So I've got that. And then you're going to take these pieces are just going to stay right where they are. And like so. And then just bring this, close that in. Now we are almost there. See what we got going on? Really cool, right? Take the hands. And then you're just going to bring that in. And you're, the hands are going to be slightly turned. I don't know if you saw that one when I just did that. They're going to turn just a little bit like so. So the, the fist will not be flat. You're going to want to angle it a little bit. And then, so when it goes in, it'll just give you a flat surface. So there you go. Now, now that we got that done, you're going to take this and then you're going to rotate like so. All right. And well, I guess we could do this first. We could just collapse that in, bring all this out, bring all these, all this stuff out here, and then we're gonna bring up like so, and it's gonna just go like that. And then same thing over here. And you're gonna go bring this out and out, bring all this out all unfolded bring this back here you're gonna collapse that then you're just gonna bring it back in now the instructions show that you bring this pieces back in at the end I put them here because there's nothing no other reason not to um, so that's there and you can see I mean he's almost done right so you're just gonna fold this down and you see this little notch here that's fine you got this piece here and this there's like a little there's a port here and there's a tab here or a peg here and bring that in there and i forgot to mention these guys are heavy and i like that because they are they have their die cast they have their um real sturdy plastic and they're really nice so make sure that's down and in place and this is down and in place and then you're going to take this piece here and you're going to, you got this tab here. There's a slot here. Just kind of make sure that's all lined up. There you go. And there we go. And then you're just going to bring, you know, you have, I guess I forgot to show you these. You have these, uh, you have four slots here. Those are going to match up right there. So you're just going to kind of bring your truck in, your windshields in like so. Come on. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna drop this, tab that into place. Come on, there we go. And on the other side, we're gonna bring that down and tab that into place. Come on, tab all in there, get everything in there. Line everything up. And there we go. Okay, everything's in. And then you're gonna take this piece, and this is on a peg that slides out. Just rotates forward, and you're just gonna make sure everything's lined up. And it just catches everything. And I'm going to bring the camera down. So you got to make sure that all this is all lined up and tabbed in. And it keeps wanting to pop out on this side for me. Haven't had this problem before, but okay, whatever. Finally in place. And then the other side popped out. <laughs> it's funny. Every other time I've transformed this guy, I've never had the problem. I put it on camera and I have a problem. Okay, okay, okay. 
that. Bring this piece out. Come around. Maybe this will help keep everything. See, there's a tab. It's not just pegging in right there. Struggles of reviewing transformers. Why, oh, why does this one not want to tab? There we go. Sorry about that. Good Lord, that took a while. Now, you got this little kibble here. You come underneath. And you take these pieces. This extends. And it's just going to... You got these tabs right here. Now, when you pull this out, you're going to see there's a notch here. There's a couple not. There's a notch here and a notch here. And that's, those are just going to line up right with that to keep it from going all the way through. And there you go. And just bring up the antenna, and there you have his truck mode. Now, I am going to just bring the camera back up again. Okay, I do apologize for all that fiddliness there. Oh, and I forgot to bring up this piece here. And there you go. He rolls really nice, and he turns. Now, really cool, if you look at the engineering on the bottom, he does have an axle up. Excuse me, I am going to raise the camera a little bit higher. I do apologize. So if you look up at top, you know, he's got the nice grill. That just needs to come forward. Um, so he's got the nice turning radius up here, this nice axle. He also has, um, they created these nice uh, shocks in the back too. And this is also shock spring. There's springs up here for shocks. So like, you know, he, you could push, push down on him. The tires are rubber, which is nice. A um, little paint wouldn't have been bad, but I don't care. I mean, it looks nice the way it is. Um, they didn't have to paint anything really. They do have paint on the windows. Um, the windows are nicely done. Nice translucent headlamps with some silver paint behind it. Little um, orange here and Headlights again, tail lights are really nice. At least they're painted in. Um, you never know if Repro Labels is going to decide to do the Zeta toy set because they did do the constructor set for um, for Toy World, so you never can tell. So you can. Um, before I get to storage of the weapons and showing where the weapons plug in, you could see that they plug in here. Really, um, the windshield wipers move, and they actually come in a bag so you put these on they they nice long peg in there snaps in pretty good really impressed with that now these these i had to use pliers to get these on because it's so tight um they were just a tight fit but these are really nice you can have them down if you want or you can have them up so they do have their articulation they are good quality plastic and um I mean, this guy feels really good in hand. I'm, I am so, so excited and so ready for, for this, this figure. So I'm gonna put these back in here. Plug those in. Plug those in. Put that in here, and then you can take the other gun, put that there, and this can race up if you want. And there he is, decked out in his armor, looking really cool. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, I really like, uh, Racket. I think he, I think he's awesome. I think he's a great little Humvee. Um, and, you know, I think they did, I think Zeta Toys did this figure justice with the transformation that this guy has 
to be so simple yet still be able to hide everything i mean that's the one thing that zeta toys has been really good about is like yeah you can you can see the crotch piece but you know you can fold it up or you can bring it out fold it back down and there i mean you're no you know what's going to be here so bring the chest out if you want to have it all brown on the bottom and everything so do that too you know make that all uniform but they've they zeta toys has done such a great job about hiding kibble and giving you an eye you know of where everything is that i really applaud them for that i am so excited for this set and they've done such a great job with these uh figures so far that i really can't wait to get the rest of the set so let me bring out some figures here for for comparison and we'll get that going Alrighty, and for comparison, here we go. We have, of course, Racket in his Humvee mode. So we're going to bring in here Clampdown, Transformers Masterpiece Clampdown. I didn't bring out uh, Sunstreaker because he's in robot mode, and I like him in his robot mode right now. Just didn't want to transform him. So there, so you can get an idea of the size comparison there. Really cool. I do like the fact that these move. So you can like have it posed to where, you know, it's got the tires moved a little bit or, you know, and it rolls really well too. So, yeah. So put that over there. And of course, we're going to get the whole team in here so far. We have not or their take on a masterpiece brawl. I'm going to have to bring this camera back because... These guys are big, so let's go ahead and raise the camera up a little bit too. Here he is with their Vortex. Looking really good. And here he is with their Blast Off. So there you go right very cool very cool set and yeah i didn't take this piece out because it gets it's really tight in there and once you put it in you need to get pliers and stuff get i just don't want to mess with it um so there you go for size comparison for these figures um when they all look together i think they look really great together um, i know the scale is way off because i know there's no hummer this is as big as a tank and tank yeah the space shuttle is going to be you know whatever but that's how they were for the toys and this is perfect for me i cannot wait to get the final member get their version of onslaught and get him out here get them all put together and um and reviewed so coming up for my next uh review when this when onslaught their version of onslaught comes out it's going to give you guys a heads up i'm going to do an onslaught um review of their their version of onslaught and then i'm going to do um I will do another video where I'll put everybody in limb mode and combine it in video and then review Armageddon or their version of a masterpiece, Bruticus. I think that's the best way to do it because I haven't been going through and doing the limbs just because I don't have the hands, I don't have the feet. All that is going to be coming with uh, their version of Onslaught. So, you know, just waiting to see how, how that all pans out. So this has been Jeff with Jeff's Toy Reviews, and I am very happy to say that I really, really like this figure. I think Racket is a fantastic figure and a great addition to this set. They, It seems that with each figure, they've just gotten better and better, so to, um, to actually see them just completely improve and continue to improve along the way has just been, has been great. So, um, <clears throat> so, if you haven't picked up these figures, pick them up. They're not that expensive. 65 bucks, I think, is how much racket cost. Um, Brawl was 65. The other two were 60. And um, I think Onslaught maybe double that price just because he's such a big figure. Um, and every, he's coming with all the accessories, all the parts and everything. But you're st that's still so much cheaper than what a you know what some of these other um, combiners um sets have come out with that are that are coming out so it's just so much uh 
so much cheaper, so much, you know, just saves so much money. And they're really good. They got die cast and plastic and the plastic quality is really good. And I really do like these figures a lot. So this has been Jeff with Jeff's Toy Reviews. I hope you liked this review. Um, thank you so much. A uh, quick thank you, though, to everybody who's been supporting me, who's been staying, sticking with the channel, even though I've been gone for over a month. I'm back. Um, I have more reviews coming. And eventually I'll get into it and tell everybody what happened and why I've been away. But that's for another day. This video is already long enough. Thank you, everybody, for supporting me. Thank you for following along. And um, until next time, like I said, i got some more re reviews coming. So until next time, this has been Jeff with Jeff's Toy Reviews. Don't forget to hit the like for this button. Share this video. If you have any comments or want any, have any questions, please always feel free to ask. And thank you again so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone.